now entering month 4 of the year 2073 outbreak, violent riots continue to rage throughout major cities across the UK. At the final year of what has become known as the Decade of Hell, the Ocelo 73 outbreak was declared a pandemic by the World Health Organization. Just days later, 80% of the planet's population fell into a coma. The remaining 20% have been left unable to fall asleep. The Ocelo are a race of parasitic life forms, though most people simply call them bedbugs. Some speculated they were frozen in the ice caps before they melted away completely. The bedbugs will either send you into a deep sleep and live off chemicals in the brain, or they won't let you sleep at all. This is what life had become for those left behind. We can't sleep, yet we are never truly awake. The parasites keep us alive so that they can feed on our melatonin sending our circadian rhythms into chaos. The NHS chief executive was found dead in his home earlier today after an investigation revealed that thousands of Atula coma patients have died from neglect in hospitals. The police are yet to confirm whether the death was a result of suicide. The Pillars of Creation conglomerate is allegedly working on a cure that aims to restore the world's ability to sleep. Founder Nadine Kittenchild has refused to comment. Let us through, thank you. Another Turn it off. war between Russia and China has... When does our guests arrive? The Pillars of Creation conglomerate has university campuses around the globe. This one is Kitten Child's favourite. In this room, the amount of human experimentation <laughs> you wouldn't want to know. Of course, highly illegal. Only myself and the conglomerate's top researchers were aware of their existence. Play him. I've always wanted to meet him. Thanks to these unprecedented times, it means I get to work alongside him for the betterment of mankind. Shouldn't he be restrained? You don't restrain a guest. Often considered bad manners. Danny Gediman, more commonly known as the nursery rhyme serial killer, active between 2021 and 2024. Gediman claimed 13 victims. He used nursery rhymes to give his slaying some form of twisted context. What happened to his eyes? Nothing. He just tore his eyelids off. Decided he didn't need them anymore. You know, on the whole account, not sleeping. The sample is ready. Are you ready to make history? It's all I've ever wanted. Tell them we're ready up here. You have the go ahead. All of Kitten Child's top researchers succumbed to the Ocelo outbreak. Her only option was Lana Suda. Nobody else could even hope to pull off Project Hypnos. Suda was a child prodigy, like Kitten Child. She was gifted in the field of genetics. The University of Cambridge awarded her with a scholarship when she was just 15. I just need to inject you with this. It won't hurt. We should have done animal testing first. This could kill him. This is an animal. Shut your shit! Don't move you, motherfucker! How long until he falls asleep? Any time now, really. The bed bugs should start eating each other, allowing the chemicals in the brain to return back to normal. This monitor tracks his heart rate, and this one keeps an eye on the bed bugs. They should start disappearing soon. 
He's entering REM sleep now. We've done it. The vaccine works. eventually, but you kept harping on about the sacred Hippocratic Oath. So I decided to leave it. What did you do? What did I do? No, Lana. What did you do? I followed your instructions. Why is that man dead? I needed a bioweapon. You, unfortunately, were my only choice. Your proficiency in genetics was invaluable to Project Hypnos. It was your eager to please attitude that blinded you to the work you were actually conducting. It's an adorable character flaw, really. Why? Vaccines don't sell well. 80% of the world is dying. I haven't slept. And all you care about is money? I'm sorry you feel that way. The pillars of creation regretfully terminate your contract. Mom. She put you up to this, didn't she? Hypnos must have been tampered with. But you died! You're right. Get him on his dead. Who and what the hell are you? I'm Famine, third horseman of the apocalypse. I thought I would reveal myself at the end. So the bioweapon worked? It killed Gediman? With extreme efficiency. Although, it would be a heavy price to pay. I can afford it. Unlikely. Your bioweapon has quite the nasty side effect. The parasites have become devourers. They hunger for your grey matter. You underestimate their intelligence. They've slept for thousands of years, patiently waiting to dethrone the species atop the food chain. Did you think they would fail? And I wouldn't even bother trying to seal the building. It won't stop them communicating with the hive mind. The news is out. They're eating my brain. As we speak, you're being lobotomized. You humans kill just as much as you create. You've been killing as far back as Neanderthals. 300,000 years of constant violence. Isn't it obvious? You are death. The human race is the fourth horseman, instruments of your own demise. I don't care. A lot of people have called this a decade of hell. Do you know what I call it? A decade of profit. The pillars of the creation conglomerate successfully privatised the NHS. We cured cancers! 
I was accepted into Harvard when I was 13. I am the founder of the largest pharmaceutical corporation in human history. This outbreak has been the best thing to ever happen to me. So why don't you go fuck yourself? And the horse you brought in on. Do you want to know what Gediman's favourite nursery rhyme was? Humpty Dumpty. I'm making this recording in case anyone survives. I stood by and let Kit and Child doom the human race. Maybe I should have said something. Who knew the end of the world would be so quiet?